Okay, so in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about using Pearson correlation. So you will notice in this example, we ran it, we calculated Cohen's D. Okay, so instead of using Cohen's D, maybe we want to look at the correlation between variables and whether or not there was an effect that occurred. So you'll notice down here, we've got Cohen's D and then we've got effect size R. This R over here represents your correlation coefficient. So I've got 18 and I've got 10, standard deviation and so forth. Again, this is data that I'm just coming up with. And here we have an effect size of 0.939. That's a very large effect. Um, so this is a good, um, good effect. There's a huge effect that's going on here. So let's go back to the other example and I said 12 and I think I put it at 11.9 if I remember correctly. And we had 0.3 and we had 0.2. Nine, and I'm going to compute that. Okay, so here again, my effect size when I look at the Pearson correlation coefficient is 0.16, so that's a very small effect. So that's using Pearson correlation rather than Cohen's D.